I plan on making $5,000 on this card of Desmond Ritter and I'm going to explain to you in this video how and why and at the end what I'm going to say is going to shock you. So let's get into it. How am I going to make $5,000 with this card? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it out and grade it. So let me take a step back. So I spent $3,250 on this card. Here's the auction. I won it on eBay about a week ago. I was actually on an airplane and I was bored and I went on eBay. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do, if you could see by this card right here, it's greater than nine, all right? And I'm gonna crack it out and send it into PSA. So right now, it's graded by this company called Beckett's and I'm gonna crack it out of the case and resend it into PSA. So why am I doing this and why would the card grade higher than a nine if it's already greater than nine? Well, let's take another step back. So this card, as you could see, has four subgrades, right? There's four subgrades. So it has the big grade, which is a nine, then there's subgrades under it for the centering, the corners, the edges, and the surface. And this card has 8.5 centering, and the rest are 9.5. So 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, and 9.5 surface. So what that tells me about this card is it's in extremely good condition. It's sharp, it's pristine, except the card is slightly off center. Now, just for my trained eye from doing this for a long time, I can see the card is off-centered, probably about 55-45 or 60-40, but it's not terribly off-centered. Now, these two companies, Beckett and PSA, they have different guidelines for grading. So they may not say this out loud, but historically, they just grade cards a little bit differently. Beckett, the card that the company where the card is graded at right now, the case it's in, grade centering usually a little bit tougher, okay? And they grade corners and surface a little bit more lenient. PSA is very strict on corners and surface, but they're a little bit more lenient on centering. Now, one is not right or wrong. It's just how these companies have done business for the longest time. So I'm gonna crack this card out of the case and send it into PSA. And I spent $3,250 on the card. And if this card grades a PSA 10, I'm going to sell it for anywhere from eight to nine thousand dollars. Now, here's the kicker. This is why I would not recommend doing this if you are brand new to sports cards. So here's the trick. Odds are I'm actually going to lose money on this card. Yes, I said that right. I'm going to probably going to lose money. And you're probably saying to yourself, who would buy a card if they think they're going to lose money on it? Well, let's play a game for a second. So business and sports cards, all it is is a math game. Okay, right, we're playing a game of math. Now, if I had a, if someone put a gun to my head and said, Eric, if this car grades a 10 or a nine, which would you choose? And if you're wrong, you die. I would probably say the car is gonna grade a nine. That's just the reality of it. Odds are it's not gonna grade a 10. It's a little bit off-centered, it has a shot. But let's do the math, right? So I give it about a, I'd say about a 40 to 50% chance the card grades a 10. Okay, so probably a little bit under half. Now, it's gonna cost me about $150 to get this card graded. So, if you look at the math, I'm spending about $150 to receive about a $5,000 profit. That's good math, right? That's really good math. Who wouldn't risk 150 to make 5,000, right? Anybody would, especially at 40 to 50% odds. Now, if the card grades a nine, I'm probably going to sell it from anywhere from $3,000 to $3,300 uh, if it grades a PSA 9. And keep in mind, I'm spending about $150 to get the card graded. So if it grades a 9, I'm probably going to lose about $100 to $300 in that range, give or take, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I make a little bit of a profit, but chances are I probably will not make a profit, okay? Because that card that I won on eBay for $3,250, the auction did a little bit strong just because people had the idea of doing what I'm doing, right? Cracking it out and sending it to PSA. So the card realistically is probably a $2,800 to $3,000 card. But let's take a step back for a second, right? I have a 40% chance of making about five grand, and I have a 60% chance of losing about a few hundred dollars. Would you make that gamble? I sure hope so. Now, there's a lot, obviously a lot more that goes into it, right? You have to know what types of cards have the possibility of grading a PSA. I would not do this with cards that are lower end. It only works with cards that are about $1,000 or more. It does not work with cards that are $100, $200. And 
those are honestly are the best cards to make money on but this is possible if you have a bigger budget and you have some experience okay so this is why sports cards are so great right once you understand it all it is it becomes a huge math game and you can't get these odds anywhere else right go to the casino and play roulette you ain't getting odds like this right even the casino the odds are in their favor they're not getting odds like this right who wouldn't have a 40 percent chance of making five grand and a 60 percent chance of losing a few hundred right these are great numbers and honestly i'll probably lose money on this card but if you do this time and time and time again you're gonna start to make a lot of money now keep in mind i've done this with cards before and i've lost my butt <laughs> i've spent before you know fifty five thousand dollars on a card with the same mindset and the market went down and the card didn't grade and it graded really bad and i ended up losing about thirty thousand dollars i do have a video i lost thirty thousand dollars on one sports card I'll put it right here if you want to watch it but so keep in mind this is a little bit high risk sometimes things do go crazy and you do lose some money but this is the great thing about sports cards right there's just so many ways to make money so hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit and it showed you another way to make money in sports cards once again I would not do this if I was brand new okay if I was brand new I would probably watch this video the best sports cards to buy in 2023 or I'd watch this video, make $500 in under 24 hours, and those are the best ways to start making money when you're brand new to sports cards, okay? So that's what I would do if I were you, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. For those of you guys that like a little bit of risk and you like a little bit of a gamble, I'm your guy because I like it as well. It's just the way I choose to do business. I just, I like high risk. I have a, I have a huge tolerance for risk, so I like it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, like, comment subscribe i'm always dropping new videos go watch those videos i told you to watch i'll give you the two options i'll see you in the next one